Hey everyone, we're back doing our Hendersonville drive. I wanted to show you something on uh, how quickly navigation. So this is where we go to Hendersonville Habitat every time. And just look how fast this is. I look at that. It would it would have took until I was already on the road for that to navigate before. It might still have been slower. Like, like it's so fast now. That is that actually a stop sign there? Anyways, also, I mean, the map data is also correct that it's going the right way now in the parking lot. Like, I, I love that. And like, that stuff, like, that might sound like a little change, relatively speaking, but that I've been waiting so long for that change. So that was the previous update, so the holiday update has that. For everyone watching, if you have that problem, the holiday update should fix it. I'm also going to let it go through the parking lot. Ooh, that... That Model Y performance showed up. Uh, right as I was getting in my car. Ooh, this is a tight squeeze. Hey, but it made it. Let's see how it does getting out on the parking lot. Yeah, so there is a stop sign here. I guess I've just never noticed. Stop. <laughs> Creeping forward. Okay. As long as it doesn't launch. I wonder if they copied my data coming out of this because that drives exactly how I would. There's, it's hard to see in the video, but there's a very steep bump exiting out of that parking lot. And if you go too fast, I've done this, the car will um, scrape bottom. Uh, so you don't want to go too fast. What the car is doing right there is like, you, it's good exactly how I would do it. It's like they directly copied what I would do. Mm, a little bit of hesitancy right here. A lot of cars moving around. This car, you can tell, <laughs> I just pulled, pulled right out. Just... It's not like uh, we're not. The car behind me is also going that direction. Also, see, look, uh, I didn't show it in the previous video. I'm pressing the accelerator just to give it a little bit more confidence. But um, yeah, so the the blinker uh, video came up. The repeater camera video came up still. So the, they added a um, X button on the video now. So you can, if it's getting in your way while it's on, you can temporarily get rid of it. I love that. Instead of moving it around the screen, you can just close, close out of it. I love that they added it. Just little refinements. It's just no one's gonna catch up to Tesla. It's taken like, I've had this car for five and a half years now right 2018 yeah five and a half years and no one is catching up to tesla in terms of software like they the cars that are coming out aren't even close to the level of like refinement the software is going through and this car is you know again five and five and a half years old the technology is six and a half years old and it's it's still getting updates, still getting refinements. Everything is still smooth. Like, look how smooth this is. For a uh, six and a half year old technology. I'm just so happy that they're maintaining this old platform. And hopefully at least, you know, it'll be a decade old before they start, stop, uh, you know, pushing updates to it. I would have to guess though, this will still get the app store. It would make sense, but there's going to be uh, more limited apps on it, which isn't going to bug me too much. My main thing is, will the car drive me? That's that's what I want. Like, if the cars drive me, then I can go play video games on my laptop in the back or something like that. It's not that big of a deal. But um, it, it just as long as the everything stays smooth and snappy and quick, that's why the navigation thing annoyed me so much because. It just it ruined the experience of you using nav. Anytime you had to use nav, it just ruined the experience. And now it's now it's great. Stay this way. It's great. Super fast, snappy. I love it. Please don't mess it up. <laughs> Let's see what it's gonna do on this roundabout here. Okay, so we're slowing down as I was slowing down a little bit too soon in my opinion. Okay, it's going through. In slightly faster, like one or two mile an hour faster than what it did the last time. So we'll call that good. I think it still could go faster. It's, it's still really hesitant around the bells. I bet I suspect version 12 will improve that. 
was really, really happy how this is performing today. We'll see if the map data change. Again, if you haven't seen the previous video, I have 2023.44 map data. This is brand new. First time I saw anyone have it was yesterday and I just didn't check the car. So maybe I had it yesterday and it downloaded this morning. But we have brand new map data, latest for 2023. I'm going to see if it changes anything. There have been quite a few construction projects around in this area. So hopefully that helps on those areas. And we'll see up here, there, the main turn, right at that traffic light, is always a pain for the car. We'll see if it's improved. Okay, so it braked a little bit hard right there, seemingly for the car coming from the left. That's a cool car. <laughs> Has no traffic here. Should be able to do as good as it possibly can. Green lights, everything. Turn the blinker on. Okay, I'm having to press the press the accelerator. It's, this is accurate. See how this is on the line? This is just not good. I'm not pressing the accelerator. This is good. That's good. This seems less hesitant going through the unprotected left. That's good. But getting in that lane right there is just not good. It needs improvement there. I think version 12 will help learn that. I, think, I don't think version 12 is going to fix that. If it does, I'll be pretty happy. But I think their, their data feedback loop is going to be very strong. So if I disengage there, they're going to get that. And they're going to understand, okay, well, what, why is the human disengaging here? It's because you suck at getting in the, in the lane. Uh, and now it's gonna learn from that and try differently and then if I don't disengage then It's gonna assume hey, I did it right So that's why it's important if the car is not doing something you would do you really should disengage the purposes of testing in the videos I try not to When I'm driving on my own I usually disengage just to give it the extra feedback loop So definitely if you're if you're testing sure, but if you're not go ahead and disengage that gives better data It makes the car drive better in the future See how it does going around this curve, this this compound lane change and turn right here. Last update did really well. We'll see if this update does the same. We have some extra traffic here. So that was good getting into the lane. And he's okay, I think that that was acceptable. There's like a it's like I have a hard time with car common cars like that. So it's not actually gonna turn in right here. So we're gonna turn in. And then I'll bring it back once we're out. Exiting out a different way today, everyone. Someone came up behind me, so we have to go this way. It's gonna, it's gonna mess up our route. So let's see. We don't normally enable it until we're on this road anyway. So let's have it reroute real, real quick. But I can't tell you how happy I am with the way this is navigating. It is just so, so much better. Kind of annoying it's going in the parking spaces i think version 12 will correct that that was a good turn i just i can't tell you how happy i am that it just it just it just works now you didn't even, even look it even goes into the parking lot we're gonna test that <laughs> oh man this is the first time it's ever correctly done that. That's the thing I, I said in a couple videos ago. I'm like, for robo taxis to work, it has to be able to get into the parking lot. If I say go to this parking lot and it's like, oh, I'm just gonna stop in the middle of the road. I'm like, well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> so it, I'm glad they're finally fixing this. That that must mean they are they actually are really close. If they were actually fixing these little navigation nuances. That really must mean they are close because I don't think they would fix this stuff if they weren't actually close to getting robo taxi. So maybe it's just pure speculation, but that seems like it means something because Tesla doesn't normally work on software updates, minor stuff like that, until it's actually necessary. So we're gonna dip that one. And now it's gonna go straight down Main Street. Wait a second. Oh, no, it messed up. Look. It's going to go straight instead of turning. 
Maybe if I put it right here. Ha! Huh. There we go. I'll see if that works. It might not turn all the way into the parking lot, but at least it will turn and maybe get to the left lane. That's what we want to see. So that was really good right there. Like, hard to explain how that was good, but it just basically it felt really smooth going around the turn and correct itself. It wasn't jerky like sometimes it would be. So I'm going to press the car up a little bit more just to be courteous of the people behind me because we're kind of stuck in the middle of the intersection. It's turning the blinker on just a little bit too soon and we're not going to make this light for sure. I had to press the accelerator so it wouldn't stop at that crosswalk there because there was no one there to cross. It does need to stop if there's no one there. I'm sorry, if there, if there is someone there. I'm pressing it up just to give extra space because this is what you should be doing in this area. Is giving extra space, and that's what version 12 is supposed to do. It's supposed to, it just analyzes how does a human drive. It sees, hey, there's space in front of me, and we're crowded around with cars. We should move forward a little bit, and that's what the car is going to do. So I, I can't wait for version 12. It's going to happen in 2024. It will happen. I just don't, don't know when. My my best guess still is 2025 for some type of uh, rover taxi, and no earlier than the end of 2024. We'll see. Okay, is it gonna get in the left lane? Ah, oh, it thinks it's stopping in the road. <laughs> Because the other car behind me actually got in the correct lane. So I had to like zoom out in front of it. So, okay. Um, I don't know. Traditionally, that wouldn't have been a disengagement just because um, it would never go to the parking lot anyway. I don't know. Regardless, I thought, thought it was a really good drive, everyone. Uh, we're going to go in and to my mom and then we're going to go back out and do the Aldi drive. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.